do it, you won't get another chance. You know, there'll be chances and you won't be lying here in a hospital bed where people can find you. So you're not here to finish me off? I didn't say that. What are you waiting for, Dad? Don't call me that. Cora says hello, by the way. Who are you? A boy. Cora's my mum. She's so beautiful. Yeah. Have you heard anything from Court? Oh, I tried Vic, but the phone's turned off. Oh, I just wish I could do something useful. Well, you can. You can name our little princess. Well, I have always had a fondness for Josephine. What? Stop it. No, she's not a Josephine or a Tallulah. I said sorry. And she's most certainly not a Ronda Luan. Who? Ronda Luan. Big wrestler in the 70s, and I mean, big. Guess who thought of that one? Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Why hasn't Aaron been in touch? 14 years for murdering my son! You got life. Yeah, well, he's still going to be let out eventually. That's not justice. Well, none of us are winning here, are we? Robert's still alive. I'm never going to see my son again. Have you any idea what that's like? Yeah, well, he knows he's done wrong, doesn't he? Oh. That's why he pleaded guilty. He is guilty. If I had my way, he'd be locked up for good. Mum, please, don't do this. You're just as bad as her. Worse, even. So what was the plan you were going to get in my head and get your own back for your brother? What is she on about? Oh, don't act innocent. But it was your idea. I haven't a clue what you're saying. He has been trying to get his hooks into me. What? You and her? It wasn't like that. Her brother's the piece of scum that murdered Lee. You say that again? I oh. don't. You want to back off, you, you know? Oh, what, you threatening me now, are you? No one's threatening anyone, all right? Let's just go home. Honestly, I had no idea who you were. Of course you knew. How? You never even told me your name. I'm really sorry. Hey, don't you dare apologise to her. If I ever see your face again, then you'll definitely be sorry. You denying you know her? We... Yeah, I knew her. Carol Robinson, she worked at the Skinner's Arms. We went out for a while. A year, she told me. Somewhat like that. And then one day, I don't know, she just disappeared. Because you drove her away? No. I never knew she was pregnant. Here I am. She would have told me. She did. And then you told your family. But that went down well. Guess what? Just banged up this black girl. You know Darren Brown and all? Of course he doesn't. Uh, I met him once at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Oh, yeah, and I once tangoed with Lionel Blair. <laughs> Aye? You never told me that. Because I was lying, like he keeps doing. Darren Brown, black belt in karate. What next? He knows banks, eh? Now? Well, that's not really... Hello? Problem? Oh, there's someone just offering me compensation for a car accident I never had. <laughs> Show us another trick, then. Actually, I just need a quick word with him. Put tea in my hands in. Never mind that. That was a strong phone. He's coming over to sort out the money. Well, now? What about this lot? We are the magician. Make him disappear. Pronto. <sighs> Look. You've got this all wrong. She said you'd say that. First, she made excuses for you. You were just a kid, your family were racist. But then when you didn't reply to her letters... What letters? Went straight in the bin, did they? I haven't heard from Cara in 20-odd years. And the lies keep coming. What about the time she came to see you? Now what you want about? She came up here a few years ago. Wanted to show you photos of me. I don't know what she was thinking. Trying to guilt trip you into taking responsibility, I guess. Didn't work though, did it? You sent her packing and you told her you wanted nothing to do with me. That's not true. How would you make up? I never saw her. Someone did. Or maybe you got your dad to warn her off again. Shadrach wasn't keen on all that from what I've heard. 
Coming over here corrupting nice little white boys. I'm not Shadrach. Try telling my mum that. I knew nothing about any of this. Yeah, she said you'd say that. Look at ya. Too ashamed to claim me as your own son. Why that lot still here? Yeah. You're best, all right? So, um, we're off to the pub to celebrate its reopening. What's the rush? Chas and Paddy's new baby. Don't you want to see it? No, oh, I'm not really that fussed. Well, that's not the spirit. What's more special than a brand new dingle? And I reckon you invite Belle and all. She's at college. So text her and tell her you'll meet her at the pub for tea. Why? Well, she needs cheering up. What with Ellis jumping on a plane to Dubai for God knows how long. Look, Sam, you're a big brother. It's your job to look out for her. OK. Good lad, OK. What are you doing? They're showing a rerun of Basil and Sage. Well, surely you've seen it before. Oh, I like repeats. I like to know what's going to happen. Oh, come on, Lydia. It's a family occasion. Yeah, I'm getting the beers in. Hey. Can't say no to that. Come on, son. There you go. Vinny, love, fetch your coat, yeah? I can catch up in a bit. You're up to something. Lydia, it's very hurtful you constantly treat him with suspicion. Any lesser person would think they're not welcome in their own home. But as it's you, I'll be very forgiving and we'll say no more about it, OK? Yeah, have fun. Good luck. Look, keep him up the pub until I've sorted it. What are you still doing here? Guilty conscience. My conscience is clear. You've been fed a pack of lies. We've got fun for knocking women up and turning your back on them. Who knows how many of the kids you've disowned? I mean, there's, there's Debbie and Carl for a start. Kyle lives with me. How is that abandoning him? I wasn't always like that, though, was it? Amos told me how you treated her. Why are you dragging her into this? Kyle's mum. Keep it in the family. That's the dingle way, isn't it? So, was she all part of your plan, hmm? No. I really liked her. No, you really used her. I wasn't using her, I was looking out for my kid brother. Trying to get him away from you, because I know what you're like. What you're capable of. No, this is all in your head. Right? There were no letters. Your mum, she never came to see me, or if she did, she never found me. Why would I make it up? OK. Listen, your mum... <laughs> she used to put it about. So anyone could be your dad. Actually, they can't. What are you doing here? Look, this is something that you need to see. <clears throat> I, I found it at Nate's caravan. You've been going through my stuff. Don't you start, Mr... Benedict's stepmum. It's her, Cara. You must see that. That doesn't mean that I'm his dad. You are, though. Look, I'm sorry. Uh, something I should have told you years ago, but... I know exactly what happened. You could have given me more notice. Yeah, sorry. Me and the missus were off to Lytham. Thought I'd killed two birds, so to speak. You married? Always open to offers. <laughs> have you got the documentation? Uh, yes. It's all there. Excellent. I'm going to need to see your new driver's licence. No. I've already given you it. Oh, this, is, this one's out of date. See? Yeah, that's definitely me. <laughs> you already established that. Look, does this need to be a problem? <laughs> You've got my bank details, proof of address, oh, and my reference of course. <laughs> Who's Vincent Manderson? My boss, whiskey entrepreneur. Give him a call, he'll vouch for me. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, you could take my word for it. You strike me as a great judge of character. Suppose you seem honest enough. OK, I'll arrange the transfer. Thanks. The money will be in your account in a couple of days. Great. <laughs> and after that, we must go for a drink sometime. Absolutely. <laughs> I'll, uh, give you a call. 
Thank you. Always a pleasure. I went to see her. I'd heard about Shadrach turning up at her mum's, kicking the door down, shouting abuse. He was threatening to burn the house down if she didn't leave Cain alone. So I, I went to see if I could help sort things out. By sending her away? Well, that wasn't the original plan, but then she dropped her bombshell about being pregnant and she was begging me to try and talk to Shadrach, but he wasn't the kind of bloke you reasoned with. Why didn't she tell me? Well, she wanted to, despite Shadrach's threats. Her plan was to stay with you and raise the baby, but I made her see it was never going to be an option. You did what? Come on. You were a wild young lad, in and out of trouble. What kind of father would you have been back then? You should have told me. It would never have worked out with a mixed-race kid, Shadrach. It would have killed you both. You must see that. You're telling the truth. Honestly. Kane had no idea about any of this. It was down to me and Shadrach. So you've been getting your own back on the wrong person. this for the right reasons. I was trying to protect you. What? Saving him from the black woman? It had nothing to do with race. I liked Kara. I was trying to save them both. With Shadrach about, they'd have had no kind of life together. You expect me to believe all this? It's what happened. So you say. You created all this mess when you turned up. If you'd have told us who you were, been honest with us, if you would have asked me questions, I would have answered them. Surely the point is, now we all know the truth, we can all move forward together. He tried to kill me. Yeah, and I'll do it again if you don't move away from here. He's your son. Yeah, he's seduced my wife. Didn't take much seducing. You say that again. No. This is not helping. Things are bad enough as they are. You stay away from me and my family. I'm so sorry. Just do one. What about Butterfly Orchid? Or the way she floated about the ring? You stop with the lady wrestlers. Why hasn't Aaron called me? Eve. Why Eve? I don't know. It's biblical. Sounds really uh, nice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Eve. Hello, Eve. As good a name as any, I guess. And what about Theodora as a middle name? <coughs> Teddy, for short. <laughs> really? Yeah, go on, man. <laughs> Eve, Teddy, Dingle. Welcome to our madhouse. <laughs> oh, please tell me it's good news. I wish we could. <laughs> what happened? You got life. Minimum 14 years. No. That's harsh. Yeah. Well, why don't you call me? You've got other things to worry about. Right, why don't we sit down and talk about it? No, Mum, I'd, I'd rather just go on. Would you want me to come with you? No, I'll be fine. Well, you don't look fine. Well, never mind me. Come on, then, let's see my little sister. She's called Eve. That's nice. Me! Hello. Mm -hmm. She's amazing. All my kids are. How am I going to call without him, Mum? It's not quite as settled. I shouldn't be here. Aw, oh, it's nice to be back where we belong. Free drinks today, yeah. What do you think? I thought it might look a bit different. Well, why tamper with perfection? Where's Chas and Paddy? Patience, they'll bring the baby out when they're ready. Have you got a name yet? Well, we know it's not Judy. Uh, Marlon, could I get a uh, vodka tonic for my mum, please? 
Are you here to see your new niece, are you? Don't look too chuffed about it. Bet Kyle's dead excited. Can't have too many cousins, eh? Yeah. <clears throat> well, you took your time. I'm here now. Do you want one getting in? We're, we're toasting to Chas and Paddy's baby. Oh, that's kind of you, Sam. Uh, large red, please. <laughs> You know, be with us in a couple of days. Oh, great help, pay our debts off. That's one option. Or, I think what we could do with ten grand. We we'll need to pay Terry off. We'll need a lot more than ten grand to do that. Anyhow, he's long gone. This is Terry we're talking about. It's not going to let us off scot free. What will he find us? Are you saying we do a runner? We need what we do best. Time for an adventure. Oi, Mandy, I, I am paying for it. Is Aaron not with you? No, he's, he's, he's gone to see Diane. I just thought I'd pop in and see how you are. <sighs> you and Lee's brother, then? How, how long has that been going on? Nothing's been going on, really. Just texts, few chats. But I promise I had no idea that they were related. Do you think he knew? Must have. Aaron's going to hate me for this. No, he's not. He's not going to hate you. All right, and if he does, he's, he's got me to deal with. Anyways, he's got bigger things on his plate, hasn't he? I don't know how he's going to deal with it. How are any of us? What was Luke trying to achieve? He didn't mention the case. He, he didn't ask any questions. I thought he really liked me. The whole family sick in there, aren't they? You must have seen me coming. It's only one man that I can really trust, and he's just been sent down for life. <laughs> Hi. Oh, let's have a deek. Oh, she's gorgeous. We. Oh. Did she have that much day yesterday? Oh, you were half cut, weren't you, Mandy? <laughs> hey, I think she looks like a Matilda. Her name is Eve. Oh, that's nice. Biblical. I had a cat called Eve. Let's talk about this. Hey, bro. Meet your new niece. Yeah. Um, nice one. Well done, sis. You all right? Not really, no. What are you doing here? Well, why won't she be here? I take it you've not brought up to speed, then. It's done, King. So, um... It turns out... You know, uh, Nate, our farmhand, is my biological son. What? You kept that big quiet. It's news to me, or not? Well, who's his mum? Cara Robinson, apparently. I remember her. You were gutted when she vanished. Here's a question for you, Moira. If you'd have known who Nate really was, would you still have slept with him? She did what? Do you want me to cook something? No, I'm all right. Why don't you go out and see Gabby? That's why I'm here with you. <laughs> I'm fine, don't worry, go on. All right, so...
You slept with Neat. It had been carrying on for months, right under our noses. He was my fella. That he's been using you to get close to Kyle. What, and you encouraged him? No. You liar! Whoa, hey! No. You better than this. How could you? Can we just go home and talk about this? Talk about what? What, all them nights in his caravan? In the barn, in our bed? Hey, not here. Throwing yourself at him like some desperate tart. Hey, come on, mate. Oh, look, here comes another one of your conquests. Coming to your rescue. I wouldn't bother if I were you, mate. She ain't worth it. She'll drop her knickers for anyone. Even my so-called son. I think we've heard quite No, a... don't you even start! Because you have lied to me for years! You've both made mugs of me. Keith, okay. don't talk to me. Don't even look at me. Either of you. So you knew about this? I knew he had a kid. I didn't know it was Nate. Get her out of here. She's not welcome. In a special episode dedicated to stories of twins separated at birth, long lost family, what happened next is new on Monday at night. And if you missed any of the new series so far, Doc Martin is available to watch right now on ITV Hub. Next tonight, it's Coronation Street.